Hello, friends, and welcome to Encouragement for Today. Rays of hope to carry us through these gloomy, dark days that we appear to be living in. Well, friend, there's no better place to find a ray of hope than in the pages of God's precious and holy word. So let me invite you to get a copy of God's word and turn with me over to the book of 1 John. Today we'll be in 1 John chapter number 4. And uh, I want us to begin our reading in uh, verse number 18. Notice what the scripture says here. 1 John chapter 4, verse 18. The Bible says here, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment, and he that feareth is not made perfect, in love. We love him, Jesus, because he first loved us. You know, my friend, I don't know about you, but truly you can find encouragement in these two verses of scripture. Now, first of all, the Bible says here, there is no fear in love. But perfect love casteth out all fear. Well, I know some of you are probably saying, well, now, wait a minute, preacher. We're living in uh, very fearful times. Uh, we're living in scary times. We don't know what's going to happen with our government. Uh, this disease uh, is running wild uh, and bringing about fear in everybody's life. But now listen, the Bible says that there's no fear in love. But you got to understand what love it's talking about. I mean, there's so many uh, definitions uh, to our word love. But the love that the scripture is talking about here is perfect love. And there's not but one perfect love. And that's the Lord Jesus Christ. There's no fear in love, but perfect love. Jesus' love casteth out fear. And the Bible lets us know real quickly that fear hath torment. Many are tormented today by the fear that lives within them. And they need to experience this perfect love that I'm talking about. Fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. Friend, the key is you can be made perfect in love. And I know some of you are probably saying, well, preacher, how can I be made perfect in love? The love of the Lord Jesus Christ, when you surrender your will to him, it's then that you are made perfect in love. The Bible says in verse 19, we love him because he first loved us. The scripture has much to say about the love of Christ. In fact, Jesus himself said, Greater love hath no man than this, than a man lay down his life for his friends. And then the very next verse of scripture begins by these terms, or this terminology. The terminology says, Ye are my friends. And friend, he laid his life down because he loved you. And that's perfect love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Friend, have no fear when you get to know the perfect love of God that is found in Jesus Christ. He'll carry you through any circumstance that you ever face in this life. It may not be easy, but you won't ever have to face anything alone when you know the perfect love of God that's found in Jesus Christ. Pray with me. Father, thank you for this powerful devotion this morning that reminds us that you are perfect love. 
and that when we're rooted and grounded in that perfect love, that we need not have any fear. Lord, there are so many that are fearful today. Help them overcome their fear by your love. And may they experience that in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Friend, I do pray these few words has encouraged you today. And I do pray that if they have, that you will take the time to encourage someone else. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.